So step number one for this uh, painting we're going to work on is to create the outline drawing. Um, uh, the outline drawing is a kind of a guide. It'll help um, help us know where to put the paints, uh, those sorts of things. I did a preliminary sketch. This was just on a scratch sheet of paper, as I mentioned. Now, in thinking about well, how am I going to organize this, how am I going to make it so it looks like there's multiple levels, there's some depth uh, where there's buildings on top of buildings on top of buildings, uh, I decided to do it this way. I decided it would probably be best to do the, the buildings in front first. And so I'm looking at this one, and so I have this little, I first drew a little teeny building here, and then I do this one on the side. And then as I'm going back into the picture, I can put more and more buildings behind it. And I figured that would be the best way to go about doing this particular uh, drawing. So I'm going to use this kind of as a, as a guide to my guide on, on creating this thing. And so you can do the same. Uh, make your own buildings the way you want. I'm going to work in a vertical format. Um, but you are welcome to work in a horizontal format, um, whichever one is, is more convenient for you, whichever one you like the best. And um, so let's start out by, I got to get so we can actually see this corner section, uh, remove some of these other, this debris that I have. And so I'm going to make, I'm going to make an initial building. Let's put, let's put it, uh, uh, this is probably, probably good, I'm going to put about halfway up. And I'm going to make this probably darker than I normally would, uh, just so you can see it a little bit better in the um, on the screen when we're working with this uh, projection thing. So this is a little bit heavier. Remember, in watercolors, you don't really want to see the pencil. Uh, you need it for a guide, but you don't want to see it. And so that's why this one, uh, why, why normally I would make this just a little bit lighter. Um, I draw. I got to turn this at an angle a little bit to draw this line a little straighter. So most buildings we're going to deal with are going to be uh, squares, rectangles, that sort of a thing. So this is my, my first idea. We'll have a building sitting here like this. And uh, I was thinking uh, a lot of times in, in buildings there's a top section. You may follow along. Um, you're going to be making your own. I, would, I wouldn't necessarily do the same exact drawing I'm doing. You're welcome to uh, with those. But Use the concept or the ideas yeah. uh, that we're using to make your own drawing. Like at the start, like the exact same. Absolutely, oh. absolutely. Uh, you can you can follow right along, do the exact same thing, uh, and and sometimes that's easier, uh, quite frankly. Uh, so I'm thinking buildings in general. There's there's kind of like the top, the, the roof part, and it's kind of a separate area. So I'm I'm going to put a hard line right in through here, and then down here, in this area, I figure there's going to be some sort of things with with windows and so we want to make sure the windows are, are similar in size and the distance between them is the same so I'm just using this as kind of my guide and then this one here this window is probably gonna roll off the page maybe that's that's a little close okay and usually there's more than one story one one height And so I'm, I'm looking to compare to make sure the distances are about the same. The nice thing about this one is we're going we're to be a little bit loose in our construction. And so I don't have to make a real tight, tight drawing. Um, we're not going to try and draw all the little teeny details of every part of the window. But we, we're going to try and make enough of it there so we understand that it looks like a window. That's why I have more of the... Uh, the little upside down L's here. That one could probably be a little longer. And then down here with this one, as we go down a little bit lower here, this one is probably going to run off the page. The window is going to run off the page. I'll be wiser if I did it like that. And so this is just a representation of that first building. So I kind of know where to place some paints. And so I'm, I'm thinking my light source is going to come this way from, from the left hand side. And so as such, this part is going to be shadow. So this is going to be a darker part of the window. A lighter part is going to be on this side, which, you know, that's why I, I, I just did the little halfsy part there. And so it starts to kind of look like a window. And so we're working from the front and gradually going back, going back in deeper in those. And so that's this one is one in the front. This one I want just on the other side. I'm doing a similar sort of a deal. Uh, and I think the, this building is going to stick out maybe maybe this far. And once again, I got to kind of turn it at an angle so I can draw straight lines. And 
and they don't have to be absolutely straight, I guess. Okay. And so there's that building. And since we're, like I said, we're building from the front and working our way back. And so let's do some things with this building. I need to make sure that when I follow this one, I'm gonna follow that same idea with the, the representation of where I'm gonna put those windows. I'm gonna make these ones a little bit smaller. I guess is what it will do is we'll, we'll go this way. I'll put these in first, I'll put in my top ones, and then we can come back and put in the bottom pieces here. Okay, and let's on this one, let's make the building I'm just going to make it so it's different than the other building. I'm going to make so, kind of maybe a little section of something here. So this is one story, then there's another story down here. So let's put this guy in here. And then I need to make sure this distance here, uh, maybe about right there for this floor and then let's put another little bit here dividing I have three little lines going for the top of the window and then drop the the verticals down for the side of the window and then this distance probably into here so I'm thinking maybe about, about there, and then this part here. Now this distance from here to here, so I'm probably not gonna see that next row of windows. So now I got a, a little bit of a representation of, of where these things are going. Now if you're wanting to do something that's more realistic, that's really hyper-realistic, you use the same thing, um, you just spend a little bit more time on your drawing, maybe with a sharper pencil, drawing the, the, the little parts on the windows that may be going into this section here like that. And this might be going down here that is a lighter thing. And there might be a little bit of a, of a, of a uh, I don't know, a window box or a ledge uh, on that. And so you can, you can draw in more and more details as you need, uh, depending on the type of painting that you're going to be doing. Like I said, this one for us was going to be just a little bit looser. All right, so now we have, have a couple of front buildings. Let's, uh, let's put a building in the back. This one I want to put kind of between these guys here, and maybe it goes this way. I think I want it over a little more, maybe about right there. And so now that this building front, this building behind that one, let's go, uh, let's see, I, how about... At an indecision. I'm at an impasse. Let's put this one kind of one behind here, kind of like that. I got so involved with drawing the buildings, I forgot I want to put a water tower on there too. So let's put a water tower up here. And so that's going to be, I should probably darken these in. Let's darken these in first. So I have a building going here. And then I have another building going here. Now this one I've drawn so far up here um, that I, I'm gonna have the water tower and it's gonna have, have a little bit of an arc, a little bit of a circle on the bottom, right? And it's gonna have some sides. And then I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it kind of a shorter water tower. And this is gonna have an arc up here just a slight arc, and then I'm to pick the center, which is gonna be right here, and that's where the, the, the roof of the water tower is going, so I can get that in the center. And then I do need a little bit of, of some sort of a stand for the water tower, so I'm gonna make the feet for it. Back here, let's put one piece maybe here, and then Let's put just one cross support there and one over here just by connecting those corners. Kind of like that. Now some of the water towers I saw had like this little uh, 
had a little piece coming off like this, like a little pipe. And so I'm gonna make this little pipe thing going here. And so that's kind of rounded and goes in. I don't need to put any texture on here. I'm, I'm just kind of the, the basic outlines of, of things. Now this building, let's uh, let's do this building next uh, since I got that kind of blocked in. We need to fill this space up a little bit more. Maybe on this one we do something along this lines here. Let's let's put a, the windows in. And I think I'm do four windows. Like that, and then let's do this sort of a thing where there maybe there's a little bit of a fire escape we have going on. And this is going to get our diagonals in. So I got a little, little bit excited about the, the fire escape, drawing that. I kind of forgot to draw the windows. So let's do the fire escape first. And then I'll put some windows in on top of that. Oops, that's a little close. And so if we make these lines kind of parallel to each other as well, that'll help facilitate the illusion of a fire escape. And then I have kind of a drop down area here that I'm thinking. Move that up a little bit. And then this takes off and is going to run off the page. And so then the windows, this one you can kind of see out the windows. This is kind of the escape windows on this one. So if I put that distance up there, I'm thinking, and I had four of them. Four tops of the windows. And then we come down here. A lot of space in between there. That's kind of a cool deal. So put in the four pieces here maybe something like that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this guy back here I think he's gonna be more of a solid fill on that this this building back here I don't, I don't, let's 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 do something at least with this part so we have kind of a top of a building and then maybe some sections here. So I'm trying to make those sections about equal distance apart. Maybe like that. Okay, let's see here. What about Let's, let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that. That's going to be my basic basic buildings um, with some overlap uh, for the preliminary drawing. Uh, let will give you guys a moment to finish those up before we start doing the painting.